People Tech does uh, government contracting, mostly defense contracting. So we do um, provide services in emerging technologies, engineering solutions, modeling simulation, uh, cybersecurity, and mission support. My current organization decided to adopt because from the very beginning, the company was founded with the principle that we were going to be more mature than our years uh, from an infrastructure perspective and from a process perspective. And that if you have the right foundation, then all the other things happen. We always want to be a step above. When it came time for CMMI Maturity Level 3, it was that our competitors were starting to get maturity level three and we want to get maturity level three as well. We achieved our CMMI maturity level three appraisal in 2016. In uh, 2021, uh, we looked at a ROI on going to maturity level five. Mostly what we're coming around to is that it's confidence that maturity level five gives your customer and our own executive management team, we're an employee owned company, so our own owners who are our employees, us, confidence that we can do the things we say we can do in the time frame we say we can do them for the cost that we say that we can do them. And that increased confidence is really the difference between maturity level five and maturity level three. So you're looking at the rear view mirror, you're seeing what you did before, and you're using that to plan what you're gonna do in the future. Where CMMI maturity level five is the windshield. And so at maturity level five, you're looking forward and you're making predictions for the future. And you're saying, that's where I want to go. That's where I want to be. And so I already see it before I step on the gas pedal. At People Tech, we have been very conscious. We have a process management and improvement team that I lead. And this team is focused on process developing, deploying, training, et cetera, on processes and continuous improvement of those processes. And so when you ask me, does the CMMI model work? It works for us uh, because we are able to structure what we need to do and then um, translate that we want our processes to be both effective and efficient. And what's the difference between those two things? An effective process is a process that accomplishes the goal of the process, right? An efficient process is a process that doesn't kill the people doing it in, while they're doing it, right? It's not painful is the word that I like to use, right? So you want a process that is both effective, does the thing it's supposed to do, and is not painful on the doer of the process at the same time. And that's a, that's a big balancing act. But I think that that's important. And I think that at least our implementation of CMMI, even at maturity level five, allows us to do that, to say that and to mean it and, and to do that.